welcome back. In this video, which is part of the ongoing expenses tracker application using Marine Stack, we are going to finish up the user registration, right? So make sure that your server is running nicely as mine. So what we're going to do in this video is that now I have registered a user, a new user. So let me register a new user again from scratch before we can do this one. So let me register this one as done too. I'm only changing the email because if I don't change it, I cannot register. So let me hit enter. And now user has been registered successfully. But as you can see here, the password field is plain password, which is not the ideal, right? So if you want to improve security of your application, always don't save plain password inside your DB. So for example, if your DB gets hacked, it means you're exposing this user into problems. So assuming this user uses the same password for his banking login credentials, then this application there, you see, we are exposing this user. So what I'm going to do in this video is that always, always, always you need to save a hash part of this version of this password inside the DB. So even though if application get hacked, it will be hard for the hackers to get the real password. So this is what we're going to do. So to make it done, we're going to install a third party package for bcrypt.js. And bcrypt.js is going to help us to hash the user password. So let's clear the console and let me use Jan to install bcrypt.js. bcrypt.js, like that. Cool. And then let's hit enter. So if you read the documentation of bcrypt.js, the implementation is pretty simple. So let me show you how I'm going to do it in this video. Okay, so let me restart my server, run server, and there we go. So let's go back to our code. This one, let me close everything. So this is how I'm going to save or hash the user password. So we are going to pass the, this field when you're creating a body, this one and then send it to the bcrypt function to hash it. So we can do inside, we can hand or create a function inside the controller here. And all we need, we will pass, <coughs> sorry, the password field to the function and they're going to save the hash one to the DB. So because controller always takes the business logic, let's, I mean, I mean, move away this logic to other file, right? So because of that, we're going to do it inside our model here. So first of all, let's require the package cons bcrypt equal to required bcrypt. It's bcrypt JS, but not bcrypt. So you're going to do, you're going, you're going to create a function, okay? And attach the model called virtual properties or what, let me call it a middleware, right? So in, in Mongoose, you also have some couple of middlewares called pre and post. Okay, pre means that before a user is being saved, run this function. And post means that after the user is being saved, run this function. So let me show you how it's done. So here, before that, above here, let's call this one hash password. Like that. Okay, cool. So here on the user schema, right, we have a method called pre. Pre means before a user is being saved, right? And it's a function. And then for this one, we pass in a function, a name called save. This is for Mongoose, right? And then the next one gonna be a function to run. But remember, if you make use of normal fart function or error function, we're not going to have this keyword because we want to access the instance of this user being created inside here. So we're going to use normal function, right? And this normal function takes only one parameter called next, which is a major word. So pass in here called next. Cool. And because I want to make use of a wait, because bcrypt takes time, right? So we just handle the promises here. So let me mark this function as an async, like that. And then inside here, before a user is being saved, we can console log something here. So here, let's console log, let's say, um, being called, 
like this. So with this, if you don't call next, our application will get hanging, but we will see this word inside our console. Let's check it out. So here, let's run the application one more time. Already exists, but if you check, oh, sorry. If you, let's run one more time. And it didn't run because it wasn't saved, right? It wasn't saved. So let's try and register any user again. Let me change this one to that and then send let's check our console i'm being called you see that before it was saved we called this function all right and the most important thing is that we have access to what we are creating here this field we have access to this field inside that by using this okay so inside here if you want to access the things you want to save we can get it from what is called the this keyword so here Let's console of this. So this represents the instance of the user that we are creating, right? So when I send, so let me change the email again. Otherwise, I'm not going to see the that keyword. So three, let me send again. And when we saved, let's check my console. You see that I have the instance of the user that I was created and it has been created here. So all I need is that take this password and hash it. That is it, right? So let's go back to the model and then do that. Okay, cool. So here, let's remove this keyword. Now you know this keyword is now represent the instance of the user. So let's make use of the view clips. So let's create sorts. So sorts is a way of what? Of hashing the user password. So let's provide the view clips. And for this view clips, on that, we have a method called gen sort. So before we can create a sort, or hash we need to create what's called sort and sort is going to be like an algorithm that's going to hash the password so now we have awaited and then we got a sort back so if you get a sort back sort back let's take the password so this the password remember in the console we have that and then let's await this time around we're going to hash be create dot hash dot hash and dot hash we take the password right so this dot password and then you pass in the sort and that's all what we need and next is let's call next like that and that is it so let's come around let's check it out one more time so let's open the response here so let's change the email to let's say unique one dot nine so let's send the request to so check it out the password field now we have a nice formatted or hash password inside so if you check our compass if we see that so let's refresh the compass here click this one to refresh not this one this one rather and then okay so okay this one so let's refresh in the last one called on nine and you see that we have saved this user okay the other thing to make it complete is that so if you want to update any field because anytime you want to update a user this function will call so anytime you're trying to update a user this function will call so we're going to tell this function to run only when we are willing to update so that's why we're going to add one more logic here so here let's check it out so if so if this dot is modified so it's a mongoose method it's modified right and it's a function right it's a function here it is modified which modify the password if the password field is modified then move to the next middleware so let's provide next so let's convert it for if it's not made if it's not modified then go ahead and hash it right so this if you want to update a field of this user, you're going to rehash this password again. So let's try again and then check it out. Send, let me change the user here. And let me call this one um, Emma9 and send. And again, I have the user hash password. 